Welcome to this tech tip showing the installation and first launch of EdgeCam 2016 R1. This tech tip is intended for the user that has a previous recent version of EdgeCam and is updating to the 2016 R1 version. After downloading the EdgeCam 2016 R1 DVD image, extracting the contents, and opening the starthere.hta file, you'll have the installation navigation screen shown here. We suggest that before installing, you should refer to the installation guide for complete information on the software installation process. The Prepare section also provides documentation on what's new. The Install section offers the options for installing EdgeCam and peripheral software applications on the user workstation. This explanation will focus on the EdgeCam installation. The EdgeCam install process is very straightforward. You'll begin with selecting the EdgeCam option on the install screen. This launches the EdgeCam installer and after pressing run will guide you through the installation process. We'll begin with initiating the installation. The first thing we have is the license agreement. Once you've read and accepted that, the next prompt is the path to install to. The default path is usually appropriate. Next is the choice of a typical or custom installation. The typical installation is appropriate for most users. It includes the live job reports, part modeler, and CAD links as part of the typical EdgeCam installation. You can use the custom option if you wish to select the EdgeCam software applications to be included in the installation. Next is the program group to be created with the default suggestion provided. Next is the selection of the default units and the environment to use when launching EdgeCam. Finally is a summary screen and you can move back if you need to and after clicking install, the installation begins. When installation is complete, you have the finish button and also notice that what's new is checked. We suggest browsing through what's new to become familiar with the changes and new technology in this release. You can also get to what's new from the splash screen and any time from the EdgeCam help menu. The other items in the install section are optional. As previously noted, the live job reports, part modeler, and CAD links are all installed automatically as part of a typical EdgeCam installation. These install screen options are provided for users that wish to install them separately. This may be desirable on a computer that uses these peripheral applications from computers other than the EdgeCam workstations. Part Explorer is not installed with EdgeCam. Part Explorer is a high-speed 3D viewer which directly displays and evaluates 3D CAD files without the need for the original CAD application. This software option provides measurement, annotation, analysis, screen images for setup reports, and other tasks useful for manufacturing engineering. Please note that Advion for EdgeCam 2016 R1 is a separate download available from the Vero customer portal. EdgeCam is the first CAD CAM platform to integrate the Advion tool library. The Advion tool library is based on the cutting tool data standard ISO 13399 and makes it easy to create and export tool assemblies to your CAM or simulation software. Contact us for more information on the Advion and Part Explorer license options. Finally, I'd like to point out the Browse Installation Folder option right above Exit. This opens Windows Explorer and displays the contents of the DVD image. Notice the Utilities folder which provides an installation removal application. We advise using this utility if you ever need to easily remove the EdgeCam version from the workstation. You have full control over the process, including ability to do a completely clean uninstall where all files and even Windows registry items are removed. When the installation is complete, Notice the EdgeCam 2016 R1 launcher shortcut that has been placed on the desktop. The launcher provides central access to all EdgeCam software items, including EdgeCam's workflow interface, recently used files, 
the tool store database and other related software applications. We're going to launch EdgeCam and look at what happens the first time that you use the new software version. We get a prompt asking where to install sample data. The default is to copy this factory installation sample data to the local My Documents folder. This is the typical configuration used for most workstations. Simply press OK to begin the process. Next we see the file migration wizard. This is a handy utility for copying your data from your previous version to the new version. You probably configured the previous version the way that you like it, and this utility will copy those settings to the new version automatically. Simply choose the items to copy and then start the file migration wizard. Hover the mouse over any item for a description of what the item controls. Most users can leave the default suggestions checked and then click install. The utility now copies the user data to the new version so that EdgeCam 2016 R1 looks as close as possible to how you had configured the previous version. You have a question about registering the software. If you've already done this with the previous version and are using the Vero Customer Portal and Customer Community Forums, you can skip this step. If you haven't done that, you may want to take a moment to register. Congratulations! You've finished the EdgeCam installation and are ready to begin using the latest EdgeCam software version. The foundation for the Tool Store database has been updated at EdgeCam 2016 R1 release. Please note that there is no change in how EdgeCam is used or to the installation process. The only impact from the perspective of software installation applies to deployments using a network database server. This type of software deployment is addressed at the end of this overview. By way of review, EdgeCam 2015 R2 used SQL Server 2008 R2 as the database engine, and this is a 32-bit application. Microsoft SQL Server Express 2008 R2 was installed on the client workstation as part of the typical EdgeCam installation. It was also installed, if necessary, on the network database server by the SQL Tool Store installation option. Beginning with EdgeCam 2016 R1, the Tool Store database uses Microsoft SQL Server 2014 as the database engine, which is a 64-bit application. We expect performance improvements as a result, including the database system should run faster. Local DB is now installed automatically as part of the typical EdgeCam installation, providing a quicker software install process. When the user has no interest in using a network database, EdgeCam will use less computer resources. As a result, SQL Server Express is no longer installed as part of the typical EdgeCam installation on a new workstation. Users that have EdgeCam 2015 R2 or previous software versions will have SQL Server Express 2008 R2 on the workstation. Please note that SQL Server Express will not be removed in these cases as part of the EdgeCam 2016 R1 install, but instead will be updated to the 2014 version of SQL Server Express and will remain a 32-bit application. The Server Installations option for SQL Toolstore intended for the computer acting as the database host, will install the ECSQL Express instance of SQL Server Express 2014, and this will be a 64-bit application. The only area of incompatibility to consider with this change is that computers with SQL 2014 version are not able to generate databases compatible with SQL 2008 R2 format. This means that once you have installed EdgeCam 2016 R1 on a workstation, if you create a database backup, users with older versions of EdgeCam can't recover that backup. Put another way, install EdgeCam 2016 R1 version on all workstations within your company. This will upgrade all EdgeCam workstations to the SQL Server 2014 platform. Older EdgeCam versions will still be able to read the databases and use them in the 2014 format with no problems. This final segment is for customers that host the Toolstore database from a server. 
If your company doesn't do that, you can ignore the remainder of this tech tip. In this deployment scenario, there are typically multiple user workstations, which we'll call clients. They all use a common database, which is installed on another computer, which we'll call the database server. In this type of environment, the database server should be updated to the new version so that it has a database in the latest version available to host before installing EdgeCam on the client workstations. So step one is working on the database server. Complete the SQL Toolstar installation. Step two is that while working on the database server, upgrade the database. We'll show a, an example of how to do that next. We will show an example of how to do that next. Once both tasks are complete, you can proceed to perform the EdgeCam installations on the client workstations. We've just completed the install of the SQL Tool Store on the computer acting as the database server. We've gone to Start and All Programs and found the EdgeCam program group for the latest version and opened Tool Store Administrator. We can see there's a database with the red exclamation indicating that it's a database from a previous version. When I left click on it, we'll go to the Upgrade Database option in the management screen and we'll give this a new database a name. We suggest putting in an appendix that matches the version that this database is intended for. At the end of the upgrade process, we see the new database available as well as the old one. We're now ready to move out to the EdgeCam workstations and do a typical EdgeCam installation. At the end of those installations, we can connect them to the upgraded database on the database server.